Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how to create this basic action creator inside the React application. So, in this lecture, I'm going to add Axios library to send the request to the API and get the response back from it. As you know, we have the server inside our application. We already started the server. What we are going to do is, I'm going to make a request to the server and register a new user. I'm going to send a data with the request and store that data in the MongoDB database and get the response back from this server. I'm going to make a request to the API and get the response from that API. So what we're going to do is inside this component folder, I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to name that folder services. Inside the services folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name that file auth.service.js. Now that's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to use Axios library to make a request to my API. So I'm going to first install the Axios library inside my React application. So I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to open a new terminal, enter into my Mon app, clear the screen. And here I'm going to say npm iPhone install and I'm going to install a module called Axios. So I'm going to install this module in my React application. Now, once you install it, let me clear the screen, close this terminal and just out of that, I'm going to just see here import Axios from Axios. Just out of that, here I'm going to first create the register request. So I'm going to say here constant register is equal to and pass here arrow function like this. Inside this arrow function, I'm going to send the request to my register route. As you know, inside your server to register a new user, you need to make a post request on this register route. And the path of this register route is localhost 4000 slash API and inside that you have register endpoint. You have to make a post request on this register endpoint. So what we're going to do is let me first add a comment and say post request on HTTP localhost 4000. 4000 is my server port name slash API slash register. When you make a request on this route you can register a new user inside a MongoDB database. We already learned that how to do that using Postman testing tool. Here, I'm going to make a request on this route. So I'm going to simply say here, exios dot post. Using exios post method, you can make a post request. So I'm going to call here post and inside that, you need to pass the URL. So I'm going to add here a template string and inside that, I'm going to pass this URL. Instead of passing this URL individually in every service, let me just create here a constant variable, constant base URL is equal to, in the double quote, I'm going to say HTTP colon forward slash localhost colon 4000 forward slash API. Just out of that, here, I'm going to simply specify dollar. In the curly braces, I'm going to specify this base URL. So this will specify this complete path right here. And just out of that, I'm going to make a request on the route register. So I'm going to specify here register. Just out of that, inside this parenthesis, I'm going to specify comma and pass a data which I want to pass with this request. As you know, when you make a post request, you need to pass some data with it. So with this request, I'm going to pass some data. So what we're going to do is instead of adding hard coded data here, I'm going to pass parameter to this register function. Here I'm going to say new user. And I'm going to pass that new user here like this. So when I call this register function, I'm going to pass data to this post request. Just after that, this post request is going to return promise. So if we have a successful promise, then the promise is going to execute this then method. Otherwise, promise is going to return this catch method. Inside this then, I'm going to call a callback function with the response parameter. Response and inside this function, I'm going to say if we have data inside this response dot data, then I'm going to return promise dot resolve and I'm going to return response dot data. So I'm going to return this data using this promise dot resolve. So we are basically returning the resolve promise with this then method. Just so that if we don't have anything and if I get any error, Inside this catch method, I'm going to say error and call here a function. And then I'm going to say return 
promise dot reject and inside it I'm going to say error dot response dot data so I'm going to just reject the promise and pass this error message with this promise if there is any error inside this Exios library that's it this is your simple service of register let me save this file and back to my action now what we are going to do is I'm going to just call this register function inside this action and then I'm going to pass value to this new user parameter using this parameter I'm going to pass data to this post request so here at the top I'm going to first say import star as auth service from in the single code I'm going to specify double dot forward slash then I'm going to specify component inside that I have services and inside that I have auth service now because I'm adding multiple services inside this auth service and that is why I created this object and using this object I'm going to access my register function so inside this basic action let me just add my register function so let me get rid of this return statement right from here now before I add this register function inside this auth let me clear one thing if you add your register function here inside this action you need to make sure that your dispatch method is asynchronous as you know API takes some time to send response from the server so we need to make the dispatch method asynchronous so let me just make my dispatch method asynchronous and call my dispatch inside this action whenever you make API request make sure your application is asynchronous otherwise you will get some error messages this time my dispatch method is not asynchronous I don't want to call my dispatch method inside this component instead I want to call my dispatch method inside this action so I can add condition and execute my dispatch methods let me show you how you can add a dispatch method inside an action so to add a dispatch inside this action you need redux thunk middleware so let me add redux thunk middleware inside this application I'm going to open a new terminal and here I'm going to say npm i for install and then I'm going to install a module called redux thunk I'm going to install this module inside my application using this module we're going to add middlewares inside this application now let's open the github on react.js redux thunk here you can find more about redux thunk using redux thunk you can do simple asynchronous updates by dispatching an action you can also add middlewares which is asynchronous and you can also access the dispatch method inside your action creator you can notice here now this is your simple action creator and just down here this is your asynchronous action creator so you just need to create your action creator and return another function with a parameter dispatch now with this function you're not limited to call dispatch parameter you can also get your current state inside your action so there are many benefits of using redux thunk so to use redux thunk you just need to just specify the redux thunk as a second parameter to your create store function so i'm going to just back to my store and here at the top i'm going to first import a function called apply middleware and as a second argument to this create store here i'm going to pass comma and then i'm going to specify apply middleware and inside that i'm going to pass my redux thunk module so at the top i'm going to say import thunk from redux thunk then i'm going to pass this thunk right here just like this that's it now you can use redux thunk inside your application let me save this file back to my action and here i can use my dispatch method let me show you what we're going to do is as you know using this payload we're going to pass data to this action creator just after this function i'm going to add parameter like this and pass here dispatch and this is also going to be a function so we are going to create a function and return another function and to the insider function we pass a parameter dispatch using this dispatch parameter i can dispatch any event so inside this action i'm going to first call this auth service to call my register function so i'm going to say here auth service dot register whoops i think i misspelled something yeah now make sure you have export statement before the function name and here i'm going to say services dot register i'm going to pass parenthesis and inside this as you know i need to pass data to the post request so i'm going to pass this payload data to this request like this and this request is going to return a promise if the promise is successful then i'm going to call then method if we have the rejection i'm going to call catch method inside this then method right here i'm going to return a response like this 
and here I'm going to call my dispatch method. So I'm going to call this dispatch method here. So I'm going to say here dispatch and I'm going to pass here object. Inside this object, you need to pass action type and your payload. So I'm going to pass here first a type, which is going to be the register success. So as you know, we have this action type here. So I'm going to pass here action type dot register success. Specify comma here and pass here payload. Payload is going to be the response. So I'm going to pass here payload response dot data. So we are going to pass this response data to this payload and we are going to get this payload data from the component. Just out of that, if we execute the successful dispatch method, I'm going to just return a promise resolve and with that, I'm going to return response dot data just like this. Just out of that, inside this catch method, I'm going to simply specify error if there is any error inside this promise. So here inside this error, I'm going to call my dispatch method and call the second action type, which is register fail. So if there is any problem while register, I'm going to call this catch method. And here I'm going to call dispatch. Inside that dispatch, I'm going to call type. And this is the action type register fail action. So I'm going to say here register fail. And then I'm going to pass here payload. And then I'm going to pass here object and pass my error like this error dot message. So I'm going to pass a default error. And if you don't have any value to this message variable, I'm going to return registration fail default value just like this. And at the end, I need to return something. So I'm going to return promise dot reject. And inside that, I'm going to return error just like this. So as you can see, I'm dispatching two event. If the register is successful, I'm going to dispatch this event. If the register fail, I'm going to dispatch this second event. So in the next lecture, I'm going to create the login action inside the reducer.